very studious and want access to internet, I never come and complain that there is a land answer and I couldn't read this paper or that paper. It is not possible to balance everybody's view and it is impossible to know factually everybody's view. So that is the reason why uh, there are some rules that appear by their overall appearances to be taking care of the issues. The issue, main issue being people getting addicted to gaming and uh, audiovisual media on the internet and it does have uh, rather disastrous consequences, I must say. Nobody complains about landmine because they don't think that it's, it's going to get them any benefit. But if you were, if anybody was to take a survey of the student community, I am pretty sure that the whole student community would be mm -hmm. against it. No, that's a good point, but the point is that this is what I was actually trying to articulate, that uh, what is th this uh, feedback system, we try to think that it is quote scientific, that taking surveys. But then there is so much politics in doing the survey that uh, one is not sure that one is going to get an objective answer. In terms of student activities, we have seen that in the past few years, there has been a lot of pressure from this office to curtail the, the amount, degree or number of various extracurricular activities in the institute and new proposals are always met with a lot of skepticism and are usually discouraged. Uh, what, if, what is your opinion about this issue? The general principle is that there has to be a balance, uh, firstly of academics, which is I think the prime goal of the training and of the institution, and the immediate next goal of producing well-rounded individuals. These have to be balanced within the parameters that you are living in this campus. While in uh, my time, we had the innocence of starting it afresh and we could uh, shape them the way, you know, a young artistic person, a young person with artistic inclinations, even though he may be engineer, would really shape them. The activities I see in the last 10-15 years are so heavily constrained, I would say, not only constrained, distorted, out of shape by marketing and promotional activities that I in fact sometimes fail to see what the students did in this, you know. There are events and events uh, designed primarily to sell some object and students have so wholeheartedly given to it, they have so completely brainwashed themselves that this is really their own expression that it is difficult to jolt the guy and say, guy wake up, you know, this is not mood indigo was all about. If you had the creativity, instead of falling in line with somebody's expectation of what your festival or what some item in your festival should be, you should create an item so enigmatic that those people, although they are, they are confused, your funding level may go down, but they still cannot resist giving you money to do it. I think that would be a really great creation, instead of getting dragged away into this it's very unfortunate that our festivals these days are immediately tagged by how much money was spent on it. In terms of the regular activities, there is a very strong feedback from the faculty who uh, want to not have absenteeism in their class just because they are quote, uh, involved in something else. Uh, faculty is not at all happy with, because it is their mandate to ensure that you are in the class and that you are uh, applying yourself to studies and training and if these things are not done right then uh, they will put pressure on the dean student's office to curtail these activities. Certain qualitatively different activity should not be curtailed just to keep the number down. So what is your stance regarding Sati, the recently found support group for LGBT residents on campus? If there is a big enough an interest group and they can formulate overall objectives that are compatible with uh, you know, Jimkhana and various activities, they become a group. I personally think it is an issue that is easily tackleable.